trees stay green, what does it need to have? Water. Water. So we know that reading fluency has um, a direct correlation with reading comprehension. It's the bridge to comprehension. So it means that if we are trying to get children to understand what they're reading, then it's important in all of the subject disciplines um, across the curriculum. So we know that reading fluently is really beneficial and the practice of reading and repeated rereading has really good gains when it comes to reading a text for the first time. So we can get children to practice, to repeat their reading, it means that they, when they come to a different scientific text or a different text in geography, that they'll have some of the skills they need to tackle a challenging text no matter what year group they're in from early years to year six. And we know that if we are repeatedly rereading, that means that children's comprehension will be stronger, which means that in subjects like science, their long-term memory will, will be impacted and that's what the aim of teaching is, is to change the long-term memory and make a change in it. So I think it reading fluency needs to be prioritised across the curriculum. Absorb energy from the sunlight and take up water through... So fluency practice across the school could sound like children reading and changing the voices for characters. It could sound like children pausing at a point where the author hasn't inserted any punctuation. Um, it could be them changing their intonation when they're reading and especially in non-fiction texts, kind of changing their voice and intonation when perhaps a key piece of vocabulary is defined or there's parenthesis by the author. So you might have children kind of realising as they're reading um, that they're understanding what they're reading and I suppose that's what fluency sounds like. It could be children having a realisation of something or they could be in shock from something that's happened to a character and I suppose that's what it looks and sounds like across the school. So the first word we are going to practice is evergreen. My turn, evergreen, your turn. Evergreen. So I think this is pretty key um, and it's kind of a key thread that runs through the guidance reports is around how um, we as teachers have to really know the key vocabulary we're going to teach. And if we're thinking about early years in Key Stage 1, they've got to be able to segment and blend those words um, fluently before they access that in a text. Um, and that means not just getting them to read the word, because of course there will be children that can't read words like germination, but it means that we get children to really wrap their tongues around the word germination so that when they see it, they can have a go at reading it, um, no matter what their reading ability. And if we get them to really know the words beforehand, what that does then is it frees up that space in the working memory so that children can predict or they can summarise or they can clarify as they're reading. Um, and that's really important so that children can understand the text. Um, and one of the key things I think for us teachers is make sure we've read the text aloud first and we know where we're raising our voice or um, we've got pauses. That really helps so that we can model that expert prosody.